Every day, Baltazar Palaño rolls the dice, hoping to win against COVID-19. As a tricycle driver in Manila, he deals with dozens of passengers every day. Yet he has delayed getting vaccinated because of fears over side effects. Palaño is one of the millions of Filipinos that the Department of Health hopes to convince to take part in government's massive inoculation drive next week. According to the latest social weather station survey, 6 out of 10 Filipinos are willing to get the jab, while the remaining 4 are either unwilling or uncertain. One of the most common reasons why some are hesitant of the jab is because of some reported adverse events following immunization. According to the Food and Drug Administration, out of the 75 million who received the jab, 76,000 or only 0.1% experienced non-serious adverse events such as headaches, fevers, and body pain. While serious adverse events such as hospitalization, birth defects, and life-threatening reactions are only 3,800 or 0.005%, even with that, the World Health Organization really have a causal relationship with what has been administered and many are actually coincidental. FDA Director Eric Domingo also reiterates that there has been no reported deaths due to the vaccine in the country. So whatever adverse event might be, no? Uh, related to a vaccine is definitely much less no, than this, uh, the number of people getting sick and dying from COVID-19. The government will soon hold the National Vaccination Day from November 29 to December 1 to inoculate about 15 million individuals in just three days. Mobile journalist Jacob Lazaro, We are One News.